Vice President of CABA, and um, I manage this show. This is our member show, which means anybody who's a member can be in, have one piece in this show. And uh, all our other shows are juried to get into, but this one comes with your membership. We have 93 people exhibiting in this show, and I'm really excited, and I, I can't believe how, what a great turnout we've had. And how can we be a criteria to be membership? To become a member, go to the website We Are Kava, We Are Kava, and you can um, apply to be a member then. It's fifty dollars a year, or if you know you're going to get auto payment, I think it's forty dollars. We found this space and we had to clean it up. It took a lot of people's work. Um, I want to thank Rayanne and Bob Circle because they um, let us rent the space. And Kathy Bestie was in charge of the cleaning, and, and Susan Bennett, Chris Cantillo, Della Bugen, Greg Miaha, Scott Shigley, Sean Koga, and Sherry McGuire, and myself, we did a lot of the cleaning. Anyway, I'm Chris Cantelli, uh, board member, volunteer, president for CAVA, and uh, I've basically been around in, in the board since about 2011. But we're really excited that everybody's here. This is a really great show. I mean, 93 artists submitted for this, and uh, it's a great way to kick off kind of our, you know, coming out of pandemic uh, and all that kind of stuff. And we've got a great program this year. I'm really excited about it. Um, next, we're going to have our themed summer show, and it's going to be uh, titled A Moment of Zen. That's going to be at the North Shore Art League in Winnetka from July 2nd to the 30th. So that call for entries will be coming out soon, and so kind of keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, we're also going to um, end that theme show with our annual learning symposium. It's going to be a, a half day, Saturday, July 31st, again at North Shore Art League from 1 to 5 p.m. We've got a great lineup of speakers. We're going to be talking about, you know, kind of protecting your intellectual property and engaging with workspace, art, with art workspaces, and just a, a number of good topics that day. So, and that's all on the website as well. Uh, later impressions then, uh, September uh, 1st to October 22nd, basically a two-month show. That's going to be at the Bridgeport Art Center. And um, we basically, we will have the ability to have two openings with that show. It'll be the, each of the third Fridays, because by, I think by September, Bridgeport Art Center is going to be fully up and running as well. So, and then we have our um, show and tell salon. We didn't have it this past year because of the pandemic, but we're going to have that at the Bridgeport Art Center. It's going to be a Thursday evening, September 9th, from 6 to 9 p.m. So again, keep an eye out for that. Uh, it's basically where members can come in and, you know, share with the group perhaps a piece they're working on or a technique they're trying to develop. And then it's, it, it's basically just kind of a, a salon, a discussion, you know, and it's, it'll be a great evening. And then um, our board members, which our board members, we've got a relatively small board. Uh, I think we've got eight on the board right now. And by the way, we're looking for more board members. So if anybody would like to, 
you know, throw your hat in the ring. And we have 11 meetings a year, and uh, you know, it's a great organization. So we're looking for people to help, you know, move us to the next level. So speaking of that, uh, our board members are going to have an exhibition at the Beverly Arts Center, and that's going to be October 22nd, to December 4th. Uh, and then lastly, we're looking to have our annual COPPA business meeting and members luncheon at the Museum of Contemporary Art. Um, so we're, that's going to likely be in November, and we'll have kind of a box lunch at uh, Marisol, which is the restaurant there. So, um, you know, just kind of be on the lookout for all this stuff. It's going to be an exciting year, and uh, I'm looking forward to everybody kind of being on the journey with us. So. I'm going to get started because I'm just so excited to say who everybody is. Okay, so the, there are how many honorable mentions? There's three honorable mentions. Three second, three, three um, they call special awards, and then one best of show. One best of show. Awards. Okay, so Patricia Stewart is um, got an honorable mention. Who's Patricia? Yeah, what, what are the, and if anybody, everybody should have a chance to look at this closely, but what are the, the, the border, the, the Okay, bus. so I'm going to go on the pass by the rest of the things, and in spite of all the other things that I can mention, them, all these uh, places, oh, I know. the COVID. This is right Those are COVID. COVID. That's it's, COVID. It's like the, the state of COVID. That's it's COVID. We are here to work. I'm Linda. This is my piece. It's called Wayward Women, and it's uh, done in encaustic, and uh, these are the women marching for freedom. Three guardians, three birds. Well, congratulations. Oil on, oil on canvas. Um, that third figure I just made up to go with it. Looks great. So. <laughs> Together. Look at you, we're all here, we're starting all over again. So, like hurry! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. This is a really beautiful portrait, a very humble sign that says, I am in need of what? Something? Dollars. dollars, please help me. And I don't know. $20. $20, and I don't know if it's a sign you found. But anyway, it's, it's extremely poignant. And um, the use of material combined with the subject matter just makes a lot of sense. And it's, um, you know, it's like very poor and rough, but what point? Okay, so Daniel, okay, the, the best of show, um, and it was really, as a best of show, it was a really, a real standout for us. This one, I really felt, um, First of all, it's a very, very nicely done painting, and the, the composition is like, it's very cosmic, there's like an Afrofuturist vibe to this, but that this woman is, uh, you know, presented as a, a, a real, a queen, you know, very much in charge of the gaze, looking back at the, the viewer who's looking very much in possession of her own, um, you know, how she's controlled. The fact that a man painted it is, I'm very interested in hearing about that. So, can you tell me a little bit about what your thoughts were when you were doing this? this? That I wanted something that was mixed culturally, and so I changed her from her ethnicity, which was Caucasian, to a black woman. And then I altered the figure a little bit, and so it's just a very decorative um, um, Yeah, I don't theme. think it's decorative at all. It looks like there's a lot of symbolism in it. And then, yes, there is a lot of symbolism. I've incorporated African uh, cultural things, a, a few Mexican things in there also, which- Is that is, your background? That's my background. And um, the, the idea um, was that uh, 
This is called Or Am I Mora. Yeah, what's that? Or Am I Mora? That's the title. What's yes. that mean to you? Um, Mora was one of the sisters of the fates uh, from Greek mythology. Oh, one of the fates of Greek mythology. Yes. Okay. So she's actually making a judgment. Right she's there. making a judgment. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's why she looks so confident. <laughs> she well, has agency. She does. Yeah, so, she has agency. That's really great. Don't you mean well, that about female moods? It's like... They're just like presenting themselves, you know, it's like, she's really not, she's just like, yeah. So that's, that's just amazing. So if you look around, there are things that are taken from African and uh, Mexican uh, culture. And I just agree with you that it's, I see with all the pattern in the background, what about Clint, about Clint, but it kind of ends there for me because I really feel like you put in so much of your own, because I've seen lots of people and artists who are influenced by Klimt, including me, <laughs> and it ends up looking like a lot like Klimt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> wanted, I wanted doesn't. to take a step away. You really did. Well, anyway, it's a fantastic case. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you.